Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Flight Images. In this video, I'm going to have a quick look at a scanner that I've just borrowed from Epson, one that I'd never heard of before, uh, F the FF680W. Um, yes, as ever, easily to remember the model numbers. Uh, an Epson Fast Photo. It is a photo scanner. It's made for scanning large numbers of prints. Now, um, why would I be wanting to scan prints when I've been working digital photography for years and whatever? Well, I just took up digital photography when I became a um, professional photographer, effectively in 2003. All my photos before that are in film, black and white negatives, or a few colour prints. Another reason I was curious about this is that uh, last year, unfortunately, my, my father died. And as part of what I found when I was hunting through things, and I knew he had lots of photos, was masses and masses of packs of prints. Now, to go through these, scan them is quite a laborious process. But I've just got this to have a look at. I'll do a more formal review with the specifications and everything, but I really just want to show it and request any questions you've got about it that I can look at. Um, I'm, I like doing these little introductions when I get new kit because quite often people ask me questions that I might not have thought of and it is much easier to answer people's questions whilst I've still got the kit here to look at rather than when it's gone back. Uh, and I could only really point to say a few videos or my written review. Anyway, the device itself, as you can see, it's quite small, has a separate power supply. I've connected it with USB to this Mac Studio here. Now I've got the Epson Fast Photo software on here, which works very well. It gives a choice of scan resolutions, 300, which is all I'm just going to show here, which is good enough for basic um, sending pictures to people, uh, posting them online, various things like that. It does 600, it does 1200, which would be good for pictures which are good enough for higher resolution. Now the software gives quite a lot of options. I've set it up so that it prompts me every time I load some pictures. As I could connect it with wireless, it has wireless connection as well, but I've just used USB just going straight into this uh, uh, Mac Studio here. Now, uh, it opens up very nicely. There's lots of bits fold together and there's a tray at the front. And there we go. And you put the pictures in. Now you have to put the pictures in upside down and facing you. One interesting bit about this, which is really quite good, is that it's two scanners in one. So you've got the scanner for the photos, but there is another scanner, and you can use this for documents as well. There's another scanner that scans the back of the picture. That looks for writing. So if you've got photos, and I know that quite a lot of my dads are, have written on the back of them what they are and things like that, it will save two files if it finds writing on the back. One, the picture itself, so that's really what I'm interested in here. And secondly, if there is any writing on the back, it will save it as a file. Same number, but with a different suffix to it. Anyway, I'm not going to go into all the details of quality and stuff like that, but I will just load these pictures in here so you can get an idea of how fast it runs. There we go, we'll go with that. Uh, several buttons on here, you can use quite a few functions you can run uh, with this from here rather than needing to kick off stuff on the software. Now I've just told, set the preferences there. Uh, I'm just going to press this button here and it reminds me because I've set the preference to give a name. So I'm just going to put uh, it's really difficult to work out sometimes when these are taken. I'm going to say 1986, just for good measure. There we go, 1986. Uh, I'm not worrying about month or subject or anything. This It asked me, I'm going to create a subfolder for them. And off we go. Scanning. Let's open this up.
There we go. Now that is pretty fast. I'm just going to have a quick look at these and see what we've got in the pictures. Well, there, it, it took a, another 10, 30, 20 seconds to process the images. It's quite fast, this Mac Studio here. And I have a folder of images, 37 images. Um, these are some of the better quality images. I realized how awful some of my photography was then, but this was long before I ever considered taking up photography commercially. Um, from a technical point of view, they're not exactly stunning, but they're interesting as ever. Um, a quick picture here we see of, uh, this is me at uh, sunrise, winter solstice, Stonehenge, probably about 1986 if I remember rightly. Uh, that's me in my wax cotton jacket, uh, looking somewhat different from many of the people there. It's so much so that I got accused by somebody of being a press photographer, um, just because I had a, a real camera. Uh, in fact, uh, the lens this was taken with is probably the very same lens that I'm shooting this video on. It's an old Olympus 24mm f2.8. It's on an adapter on an EOS RP. But uh, that's one there. And there's uh, a friend of mine, another picture taken at the time. So uh, yeah, there you have it. It is phenomenally quick. That's at 300 pixels per inch. It's scanning these. Um, scan them high, it slows down a bit. But anyway, if anyone's got any questions, I'll have a look at a bit more of the usability of it, uh, see if I can find any foibles of it and that, test the scanning on the back and the stuff like that. But it actually seems, um, yeah, it's an incredible little thing. Um, yeah, it's just the sheer speed it goes. It's like a like a banknote sorter almost. Um, and at last, if you have stacks and stacks of pictures, um, one of these might be an archiving solution. But uh, anyway, as I said, questions welcome. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Bye.